Good evening, everyone. My name's Seath Haskins, Code Primate, and I just got done sp spending the last 20 minutes uh, building <laughs> stuff just to have the uh, the game crash, my OBS crash, and everything crashed on me. But you know what? That happens sometimes. So it may not be uh, the, as long as a video as normal, but um, oh, what else could go wrong? There we go. Okay. So what I was doing is I started building right here, and I'm like, you know what? A lot of people in my chat or in, in my comment section said build a one by one uh, chop saw or a sawmill right and I thought yes the sawmills are cool but I like these better and I'm gonna go ahead and break this down because this is the part that I was showing you guys um, before it started and there we go let's just move these down and I'll just pretend like I just bought these from Tom. I had a wonderful conversation with Tom and it was like, it, it was really good. And we went and bought the chop saws and all everything else. So basically what I'm starting out with is I'm starting out with um, this right here, a hatch. Okay. And the hatch actually needs to be upside down, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, hold on. Is that a, can I move that? I can't move that. Uh, can I move this? Yeah, I can move this. So. Let's go ahead and just slap this on the back like that. Now we're going to take this and we're going to go uh, rotate, 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 and turn, turn. This needs to be upside down for it to work. So that should be just about right. And um, there's no way to build this without kind of glitching. It's a glitch build, definitely. So. Okay, that needs to be turned back up, and we need to rotate like that. So this first one right here uh, cannot be built there. Dang it. Um, oh, hold on, hold on. Because that's on, on the uh, inside of where it needs to be built. So we need to build over like that, and I need to build on this side. Uh, rotate. No, rotate, turn, rotate, like that. Okay, so, boom, like that. So, basically what I'm doing is I'm putting a surface up right here, so this is on the right side of uh, the sawmill's base. You'll see, you'll see, I'll, I'll show. Um, okay, we need to do a rotate, like that. Okay, so, this is how we're going to set it up. I need that, oh no, I'm not going to be able to set the base down right there. Well, poop. Okay, let's move these out of the way. Move, you go right there, and move, you go right there. So, <clears throat> notice how I have uh, like a, a one gap right here, right? That's because this sawmill is going to chop right there and knock off that first one. So we need to move this. It has to be right here. Um, I think that will work. Hold on. Is that too close? Uh, that's too close. Okay, so if I were to leave it like that, this would actually hit the wood. So we gotta go one more up. Oh, come on. Please. One more up, uh oh, there, like that. Okay, that's good, that's good. So this way the swing arm won't catch and it will cut the wood. So we just want the saw blade to, to go through. Now, uh, with the rest of these, we can actually place these in line, just line them up with the other sawmill, or the, the chop saw. Come on, move, 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 move. Move it, sir. Why are you not moving? Okay, you know what? Bring this over here. We're going to do a uh, turn rotate, rotate like that. Slap it on the back side like this. Boom, slapped on the back side. Now we need to re-rotate this one like that. And now we should be able to, oh, that's, that's all kinds of messed up. Hold on, uh, rotate, rotate. Turn, rotate, turn, no, no. Rotate, rotate. There we go. That's the correct direction. It's a little little hard to see. So we want this to go up and over. Right 
Okay, I can't align it. Dang it. Okay. <clears throat> you know what? Give me a car. I need lighting, please. Boink. There we go. Shine the light right there. And let's grab this again. And we're going to move. Uh, we're not going to be able to put it there because the button actually sticks out through the back. All right, come on. Just get aligned. Get alignment, please. Why is this not aligning up? That is crazy. Oh, 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 we had it there for a second. Oh, oh. Is that right? Yeah, there we go. So see how the bases line up right there? Okay, we need one more. Do the exact same thing. Line this up. It's gotta be right on the line. Come on, come on, stop it, stop it. Oh, 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 no, that's not. It's not aligning, please. Please. Wait. Can I do this? Can we do a turn? Line up to the bottom. Ah, there we go. That'll work. I think. Turn, turn, turn. There we go. Ah, that's easier. Ah, oh, whew. Okay. So, what's going to happen is I'm going to have to reload my base and see how these have a two unit gap in between them. I have to place these two sawmills right in between there in order for it to happen. But you have to do it through a glitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this one here, move, and we're gonna place it just on the inside brick right there. And this one on this inside brick. Actually, no, we want it, we want them on the outside. And I'll show you why here in just a second. Okay, so now that those are on the outside, I have to reload my base. But as the base is reloading, like I hit reload, it starts to res in. In order for this to work, I have to move these three sawmills first. Move them, hit cancel. Move it, hit cancel. Move it, hit cancel. Once I do that to all three, they'll, they're going to disappear. This will allow me to build, uh, to place these two sawmills in between where those sawmills are. Now, I, I know that sounds a little confusing, so let's just go ahead and do it. Uh, we are going to go load this slot right here. It's the same slot. And I'm just going to stand here. I'm going to pick the same, the, 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 I'm gonna pick the same plot, okay? Hmm. I guess you don't have to wait for that. Okay, so it's asking me to reload again, and I'm loading in the exact same plot. Same plot I was on just now. And the reason for that is because I'm standing in the exact spot I need to be in order to move those three. You gotta be quick. So, here they come. Wait for them to load in, and as soon as I see them, I'm going to move them and hit cancel. There we go, move, hit B, move, hit B, move, hit B. Just like that. So now, those three, the whole base is going to continue to load in. If you're doing this with a small base, it's really hard to do. You gotta have a, a quite a big base. And then once my axes appear, there we go. We are good now. Oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. So if you remember, we placed these right on the edge of uh, where they needed to be. So if I just line this up correctly, I should be able to place one here. Good. Because that one's on the left side of the other one. And then this one, oh, get a little bit closer. Move. We're gonna place it right here. Like that. Oh, nope, not like that. Hold on, let's move it again. Why did it pop up like that? There we go. So, everything should be in alignment. There's three that are invisible right now, but we can build in that space because they've, they've been moved. So, last thing we gotta do is uh, menu, we're going to load, 
I'm going to reload this slot. And when it comes back, we should have five. Okay, we are back on. Select, confirm. I know this is kind of a little bit of a boring part, but that's that's fine. That's why I do these kind of tutorials. <coughs> uh, a lot of people were asking for chop, um, chop mills, sawmills, uh, one unit sawmills, but I find these much more efficient just because. Now, this uh, I can actually, oh wait, 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 I don't want to. Oh no! Okay, whew! Thought that was going to go invisible for a second. This one I want to actually rotate turn, rotate turn. We're going to stick in here as a little bump stopper. Alright, and that will be for the first one unit chop. We can move these out of the way. Those are done. Move. And we're actually going to take this one. We're going to move it forward. Rotate. Like this, maybe. And it's going to become ah, come on, there we go. It's going to become the uh, the edge that our our uh, wood will sit against. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's that's good, that's good stuff. Now this, let's see, I do rotate, turn, rotate, 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 turn. Oh wait, uh, turn, turn. There we go, upside down. I want to make sure that this is all the way to the end, like that. Oh, wait, I can't hit the wire, can I? Hmm. Well, we'll grab another one, just in case. Now that might be, that that's excessive, isn't it? Unless, unless we were doing like two more or something. Hmm. Well, that's fine. So, um, hold on, can these, this can go up some, can't it? Rotate turn. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So, if I were to take a piece of wood and just slap it up here like this, right, it would be fine as long as it's pushed up nice and flush. And then we can set all these off at one time, which uh, I've got the wires. I will hook it up and we will see what happens. Let's see, I'm going to need five. I actually picked up some more, but I already had some, so... One... Two... Rip elevator. Can I, can I get an F in the comments for the elevator? Just type F for the elevator. I think that's off a of game. Press X for respect. Press F for to pay respect. Call of Duty, maybe for honor. I don't. I don't remember what 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 game it was. It's an old meme. One more wire. All right, come on, come on. You're coming with me. <clears throat> and there is an, a way to automate this. So if you had, uh, if you had, let's see, let's do rotate, rotate. And rotate, turn, rotate, rotate. Like that. Oh, no, backwards. Uh, let's do rotate, rotate, turn, turn. There we go, like that. There we go. So all, all my wiring is going to be right here, nice and close in the back. I could hook this up to an automation kind of thing where uh, when you press this lever, it would stay on for so long that it'd turn off, and then these would open up and drop out whatever's there. There we go. Nice and easy. Easy peasy. Hook all these up. Come on. There we go. So, uh, am I going to need another wire? I will need another switch, won't I? Okay, okay. We can we can do that. I've got another switch over here, I think. Maybe. 
There we go. Yep, I got a switch. I got a switch. <clears throat> <sighs> I'm really upset about that first video. You know? Like, I, yeah, I'm recording again, but it just took me a second. So, let's see. I should be able to rotate this one time. There we go. Actually, wait. Does that work if I... If I just set it straight on there. Like that? Does that turn it... Oh, 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 it does. So I should be able to do this with just two wires. Right? Oh, awesome. Okay. So. Take the wood. Place it up here like this. We're going to make sure that it's in there nice and tight. Boop, 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 boop. Good, good, nice and flush. Here we go. Just like that. Once it's all cut, turn it off. Turn it off. Oh, <laughs> that's a glitch. And then hit this button. Boom. Hold on. Did we duplicate? Oh, we duped. Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wasn't supposed to get all those. <laughs> so yeah, I think I think that just duplicated. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Code's a duper. Code's exposed. It did it did kind of cut at the exact same time. So I mean, oh no, that's not an exact. It's ninety nine percent. So it's going to be made up for. There we go. That makes up for it, right? Now, if we wanted to, we could... Oh, there's another 99. That's got to be the dupes. Doopsie oopsie. Just, I, I don't know where that came from. Don't don't quote me on that. Tell, tell the people that I said something cool. <laughs> Steven, edit that out. <laughs> Make me see something awesome. Okay, here we go. Nice and loud. Oh, that cut just nice. And that last piece is not going to work, but that's fine. And then we can drop it down. Drop it. Takes a second. Hello. 99. Get that last one. Please, full. Please, full. 99. Why is this not... Why is it not perfect? I don't know. I don't know why it's per not perfect. So it's actually taking two units instead of just one. Please don't be 99. Okay. Whew. At least that one wasn't 99. Okay. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. Safety first. Oof. OSHA would not have been happy with me on that one. Oh, of course, OSHA, OSHA would probably have some things to say about this work environment. Just saying. All right, hold on one second. All right, I'm back. It was my wife. She was saying hello, and I love you. I love you, too. Here we go. Oh, it's loud. Oh, it's so loud. Let me drop it down. Now this is something I don't understand. Like, oh, it's like on the edge, isn't it? Huh. I wonder. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta get that down first, don't we? Okay. So, can we move this slightly forward? Let's see. Rotate, turn, turn, rotate, turn, rotate. There we go. If we move this slightly forward, say there, that should still cut, right? I think. Maybe. And I had an idea. If we if we are cutting this the way that we've been cutting it, and it's still getting only 90... What is that? Oh, that's the 
We can destroy those. <laughs> and it's still only getting us 99. We could always up it to, yeah, it's still getting 99. We can always up it to 1.2 or something like that. Slightly bigger on one of the axes. Either the X or the Y. And is it X or Y? Yeah, it is X or Y. So we can go up to 0.2 there, or we can go up to 0.2 there. Either way. But um, we are going to reprocess this, I think. Uh, and this one is a... It's not a max, so I can't... Hmm. Should we go take it to the max? Mm. Here, i tell you what. I'll just cut this in half, and we'll process it one at a time. Get in there. Uh-oh, that's not happening. Boom. And boom. There you go. So they're slightly, slightly larger, but it's going to be more efficient because we won't have any wasted pieces that are just 99. In which case it would be two or it'd be 198. Because 299s is is that right? 198. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know math. Ah, so loud. That one's still cutting. Why is that one still cutting? No, stop. Okay, we're just gonna bounce it down again. It's not cutting. Okay, whatever. Stop him. What is wrong with that piece? Hold on, can I chop it? Okay, that piece is no good. <laughs> Had a knot in it. There we go. <clears throat> very nice, very nice. Love it, love it. And that probably could be chopped in half. And I don't know if that's going to be 99, though. Yeah, that worked. It worked. So then we have to turn that one back off. I think we should change that one to a button. Because we're only going to need to, to hit it like a button, right? Alright, let's go see if we got a button. What time we got? Oh, we got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Do we have any buttons? Button, button, who got a button? No? Where's a button? I know I had a button. Ah, oh, there's a button. <coughs> oh, boom, boom, whoa, excuse me. Boom. A boom. Now, can I move this one out of the way and just put the other one in place? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Rotate, turn. Rotate, rotate. Turn, turn. There we go. Please work. Please work. Nope, the wire's already been... Oh, there it is. Oh, oh that worked so much, so much better than I thought it was going to. So. And let's see. Right about here, we don't actually need things to happen. So, if I take this small piece right here, I should be able to place this. Uh, no, we need to come over one unit. Right there. Right there is where the cut's going to be. Oh, oh, we didn't, we didn't get on the inside. Hold on. How far over is this? It's about one unit in. So, come on. Come on, efficient one. Ah, there we go. So, when this chops and that cuts, this should prevent it from falling. Prevent that part from falling. Now, that's not going to work, because we want to build another thing off of this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I got a bunch of these over here. 
this would be nice. Let's do this. Get that over there. Get that over there. And we'll do two more, just in case. I know, you guys were so excited about the tires. So, let's see, move, we're going to rotate turn, rotate, right, like that. Now I can't set it like that, that just doesn't make any sense. I want it flush with that. So, let's get this off of here. Oh, come here, come here, thank you. Move this right here. And we'll move this right in there. Ooh, is there a gap? Oh, there's no gap, okay. But that was not where I wanted it. I want it right flush like that. Nope, it's still not flush. Um, hmm. It's gonna be like a half unit off. Oh, that's no good. We might have to use some wires to guide that. Tiniest of edge, isn't it? Hmm. Wait, I still got a wire. Okay, okay. We're good, we're good. I've got this. Nope, I don't get that. That was horrible. There we go. Move. Good. Maybe. Why are you being like this? No, wrong. There it goes. Sorry, I'm really concentrating hard here. This is just being difficult tonight. So, if I take this one, I start up here like this. And I go slight angle all the way down to the very edge. Like right there. See how that kind of like slides on there? I probably, hold on. I probably should start up here. Nope, that's going to cut into the edge. Um. Let's go to right about there. Ah, come on, chat, get out of the way. Right, right there. Okay, good. Finished. Okay, so hopefully that will work. And this should now have like a slight push that direction. Nice. Nice, very nice. That's very amazing. And then we can do this on the opposite side. So, we're going to go right here. Kind of a downward slope. To right about there. finished. So, come on. Come on. Come on back. We drop this in. Doesn't really matter. It should line up. Oh no, it's too thin. Too much. Too much. Alright, 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 alright. Yep. Okay. Okay. Hold on, I got I gotta get this out of the way now. <laughs> oh no. It's stuck. And I'm not gonna be able to grab it, am I? Uh, oh, 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 hold on. There we go, there we go. Finished. Oh, that was close. 
Okay, okay, come on back, come on back, come on back. We're gonna drop you down in there again. Oh, no, you need to drop onto the actual conveyor. Kinda goes in. What's it stuck on now? Wait, what? What's it getting stuck on? Nothing. Nothing's getting stuck. See, that needs to be lined up, though. You know what? Try it. Oh, that's loud. Why is it not falling? <laughs> I don't... I don't understand. Is it just going too fast for the server to k keep up? And wait, there was only five. What? Hold on. Did I do this right? Okay, drop that in there. Oh, and that's not going to work with a small piece, is it? Okay, so we should have had one, two, three, four, five. We should have had five pieces drop out of there. Sorry, it's so loud. Okay, that should be fine. Huh. That is very odd. Okay, let's move this back in. Uh, rotate, rotate. Turn, turn, rotate, turn. Rotate, rotate, rotate. There we go. Okay. Got this back in the right direction. Come on, get on there. Okay. Yeah, so that works. I wonder if it just wasn't uh, catching up in time. So. Enough of my jibber jabber for the night, I guess. We've been we've been going for a good thirty minutes, so that's a good episode. Good times. Uh, you know, it's it wasn't much of a serious talk this time, but what was that an edge piece or something? Zero percent, ninety nine percent. You know what? Here, we can drop that in there. Ha ha! Oh no, that didn't work. I've been fooled. There we go. Okay. I think that was the end piece. Yeah, that's got to be the end piece. You got to be kidding me. Is this... Oh, this was a one by one, wasn't it? Oh, this is not the 1.2 one by one. Okay. So we got two 99s. There we go. Hopefully we don't have three 99s. No! No 99s. It feels terribly inefficient to have 99s going on here. Because that's just scraps. We don't want scraps. Technically, two 99s is uh, 198, I think. Is that right? 100, 100 would be uh, 20, uh, 200. Minus one from each. 199, 198, yeah, 198. I was right. I was right. Oh my gosh. I did the math right in my head and I wasn't second guessing myself at all. <sighs> but that's it. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, as I show you how to create the one, uh, the one by one chop saw, not the saw mill, and how to kind of create a little guide to throw it in there. Also, this was weird. I mean, we had some weirdness there. So, um, what we might do, hold on, what happens if I do this? Okay, okay, maybe that'll work. Maybe. Uh, you know what? I'll test it next time. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. And just to freak OSHA out, so there we go. I'll just stand right here at the saw blades. <laughs> 
Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool. You were here. Love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Oh, I forget to click on the thing. There we go. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.